Hello my crafty friends, it's Kathy here from Scrap and Bean in Alberta, Canada and tonight I'm going to work in this little small art journal that I have. I love it. One thing I like about it is that the pages start off white and actually this page here I got started before I realized I should really share that with you because I haven't done a video for a long time. So the only thing I've done on here that didn't get filmed was I had this stencil and I put some distress ink through that. And then I had a little bit of ink, like this spray from the previous page that had spilled over. So I just took some gesso and kind of wiped that or covered it up a little bit. That's, that's what's been done so far. And then what I've done is just gather, I went through all these little ephemera bits that I have at home. And this is a film strip from 49th and Market. This is out of our packs of flowers of um, junk journal fodder. Old book page I just die cut into a circle. So I have a whole bunch of bits and pieces here to put something together with. This is a frame out of the 49th and Market. They have packs of frames with actual thread stitching on here, which I, I like that. It gives you some extra texture. Little bits from... Uh, Tim Holtz ephemera packs. I think that's where all of these little things came from. They're all from either the Tim Holtz ephemera or from our junk journal. Little ephemera packs. And then this is a tag that I just die cut with a die I happen to have. So I have just a small pile here to assemble onto a really small um, art journal page to make it go real fast. So just to give you some ideas and I guess just to get me practicing into videoing and checking out if my video station is going to work for us or not. So for to add a little bit of something to the background, I want to make some splashes in this blue color. So I'm just taking a Tim Holtz ink tumbled glass. I'm going to smush a little bit of that out onto my craft mat and it looks like my ink pad is almost dry so I don't know if that's really going to even show up but we'll try it and actually I can see that my craft mat is not totally clean because when I spritz it instead of blue coming up it is coming up with red and I don't want red on my background a little bit of blue there okay so let's try a different color of blue. See if I have uh, more ink in this broken china. I basically just want a blue to match that background, keep it going blue. Better put the lid on so I don't mix these up here. There's a little bit of blue there. And if I just take a paintbrush, is that enough blue to make a splatter? Tiny bit. So I would say that's not even worth splattering. So what we're gonna do instead, I'll take a little bit of paint to the rescue. Put that on my craft mat, I don't need much. And there's already water down there, so I'm just gonna water that paint down a little bit. There we go. So just keep trying what you have until you find something that works the way you want it to work. This is just going to add a little bit of color. I want to keep some white space there, but add a little bit of color into there. You know what works even better than this paintbrush is um, Tim Holtz splatter brush. Works really, really well. It's just not within reach of me right now. And I'll even put some splatters down where there's this other stenciling work already. That stencil, if you're looking for one like that, is from Southern Ridge brand, which is Canadian one. Real nice. Use Canadian products whenever we can. All right, I think that's plenty. Okay, so I think I'm ready now to start putting together some of my little ephemera, little pile I've got here. Actually, here's something colored that I have laying on my desk that would work on there too. You never know what you could save and use. 
So I have this old book page. I'm going to have this on one side and just to get some text on both sides of the page. I was hoping that this torn piece would fit behind the frame and I think it will if I just tear a little bit more off of here or maybe cut it would be better so I don't tear it too short. Yeah, I think that'll work. So I'm going to go ahead and actually I'll ink. I'm going to ink.